Oh my god, is that the power on a sewer? What the hell, man? It's been three years, you've got to make another review. Fine, you know the drill. Garlic sauce, chips, palmo. Let's do it. I mean, a palmo is good, mate. Hey, but let me see that crepe check. Man's got his Yeezys. Turkish finest. Some might even say it's fake. Palm Oak on a saw, mate. You think I won't? He's only gone and done it like again. Mike and it's reload time. Don't know your songs, but they know mine. That's why I got gigs just like Joe Grind. After the show, I'll be rolling mine. Don't care about the no smoking sign. They tried to steal my vision. This ain't a culture. Okay, then. Angelo's review. Let's start with the customer service. All right, so we walked into Angelo's. Took a little bit of time to actually get served, to be fair. And once we did get served, who was waiting there for how long, Lou? I mean, like a minute or two before we got served. And she was shouting at the chef. Shouting at the chef, is it ready? And I'm like, come on, yeah. it's all right. I mean, obviously we're waiting for it. We want it to be cooked properly. And it wasn't just our order as well. They had some commotion over like, um, over like, a, like a cheeseburger, wasn't it? Like uh, saying like they said the chef couldn't get the order right. Just couldn't get it right. I'm telling you, chips. Oh my goodness. Chips. Went in for the chip. A little bit crunchy. It's what you but wanted from in the crispy side, from the outside texture. It's what you want. But, yeah, yeah. But everything else though. There was no filling to the chip. If I wanted a packet of crisps, I would have went into my bottom shelf and grab some waters. I mean, just eating like some bare chips, just like night, night, just the outside shell. You know what? Yeah. Ready salted crisps, that's how I could describe it. it. Wasn't even salt and vinegar or cheese and onion. I mean, don't give us the bits. We don't, we, we didn't want the bits. Let's try the chips on their own. I don't rate those chips. They've got the crunch, but there's, no, there's nothing in them. There's, there's, not, there's no like the potato, just, just, just you barely taste any potato. All you taste is the outside, nothing on the inside. And I, I don't like when you eat the chip, it has like a horrible aftertaste as well. It's all crunch. If you're biting with it, it feels like there's just like, it's like an empty shell. That's all you feel like inside. When you, when, they, when you swallow it, it's just like, it's, it's not a nice aftertaste. Do you know what the chips remind me of? Let's take some scraps, get them rock hard, leave them in the greaser, let them all the grease soak in, and then just like, then leave it out, let it, let it all dry up to get, to get it hard again. Then just tasting that, just taste up some dried up grease, that's all. You know what I mean? No, uh, chips, not a fan. How are we rating the chips? I want to go under two. I've got to break the news to you guys. It's a 1.5. So what are we rating now? Is it the garlic sauce? The garlic sauce, lad? Well, I tell you, mate. Basic. Basic. And I'm not saying basic like Tesco. I'm saying basic like you go into Aldi for some garlic sauce. Not good at all, mate, not good at all. I tell you, when you had a little bit of that taste, you got it in, and two seconds later, a little bit of delay, you finally taste the garlic. Not good, mate, not good, very basic. Now, what I say about the garlic sauce is the average, I'm talking about like, like shop brand, very reduced salt average, that's what I'm talking about, the garlic sauce. It looked thick on the outside, the, the appearance looked thick, but when you bit into it, it just like, it was just thin, just like, just like, it's like not no thickness to it and another thing as well a delayed aftertaste a delayed all about two seconds you know like not doesn't give you that that taste when you want to like to be that creaminess when you want to like bite into it and then enjoy it it's too it's like just like a thin aftertaste and then literally two seconds after I mean like gags you it goes along with the chips a bit of a gag yeah not not a fan so what we're giving the garlic sauce since it felt like it came out of supermarket it's got to give it a two yeah two and now it's the one and only, the top boy, the king of the block, the king of the mandem. What is it, Roop? It's the Palmo! That's what we're talking about. But we weren't talking about it today because it was horrific. As Lewis said about the garlic sauce, the Palmo itself, very, very basic. I'm telling you, the cheese was there, but it was falling off. The chicken didn't even feel like it was cooked. It was like a rubber. It wasn't even crisp. All right, appearance-wise, that chicken looks undercooked. Right, yeah. It's hard to even cut into. I'm gonna try the chicken on its own. That's not cooked right, uh, like chewy, yeah. That's not cooked properly. Uh, you go away with food poisoning, but like, no, it's just like not crispy. It's just like not like, it's just chewy, yeah. To be honest, the cheese was pretty meh. Meh. That's how I describe it. 
meh. With, with a parmo, you want the cheese to hit you. But it didn't taste like a strong cheese. It, oh, it just wasn't wasn't feeling it today. I was falling off, falling off the chicken. Like there's like, like cheese, just like the colouring are too artificial. And now that chicken, it was just undercooked. Just very rubbery, just not, just very hard to cut into. I brought proper utensils, a proper metal knife and fork. And the way I was cutting into it just felt like just like a cheap plastic knife and fork. Just like nothing, not even like something like a cheap one you get from like a fish and chip stuff. Like very... I brought the top utensils and even that was a short of cutting into. Nah, the texture is not on. Cheap and plastic. See what, where were those breadcrumbs? Salt in the chicken, make up for the, for the undercooked chicken. Nah, a bit of artificial cheese on top, soaked in breadcrumbs. And like, and like the chicken was just like not enjoyable. That palm up was just not on. Tell you what, if I was having that on a Saturday takeaway, I was coming out from the globe, I was enjoying myself, having my doctor's appointment. Nah, I'd be, I'd be going back, I'd be, I'd be sitting the next day eating that. Goru, what are we rating this now? Well, I wouldn't have that for myself on a night out or even if I'm stopping in. I'd want to go somewhere good. Very disappointed at Angelo's. To be fair, I wasn't expecting too much. We've got to be critical on this channel. I'm giving it a one. Yeah, we have to be critical on this channel. I mean, a pure experience is not a two or a three. This experience was a one. So, Angelo's, I won't be coming back. Gonna ring up my doctors, going in for a heart attack.